Number 10. UFO Fragment In 2012, a fragment of a UFO was found in the ice in Siberia, and nobody's really sure what it is. The metal object was roughly the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, discovered near the remote village of Otradnetsky. It weighed 440 pounds, 200 kilograms, and it seems very possible that it could have fallen off a spaceship. The locals who found it buried in the snow near their village dragged it all the way back to their houses and then contacted the authorities. Seeing as this happened in Russia, the authorities showed up almost immediately and confiscated the mysterious object. The object was examined and scientists revealed that part of the fragment is made from titanium and that testing didn't find the object to be radioactive, thank goodness. According to what the officials in Russia say, the object is not related to any kind of space technology. However, they never did give a full explanation of what it is or where it came from. They simply told everyone it had nothing to do with aliens and to forget they ever saw it. There's probably aliens scratching their heads right now wondering where their piece of ship landed. Where do you think it came from? Number 9. Ice Age Weapon Factory A weapons factory from the Ice Age has recently been uncovered in the icy tundra of Siberia. It was found on Katelny Island near a Russian military base. The factory dates back a really long time, about 10,000 years. Inside, it was discovered to have traces of prehistoric woolly mammoth tusks and bones. The tusks and bones of the prehistoric beasts showed signs of whittling. According to mammoth expert Inoketni Pavlov, the camp had been used to process these animal ingredients into deadly weapons. Each tusk and bone was molded by a skilled craftsman into a sharp blade, which could be used for killing enemies, butchering meat, and taking down larger animals. A very handy tool back then. These blades were either used as knives, spear tips, or even arrowheads. Picture cavemen running around with long, ivory-tipped spears, jabbing mammoths in the legs. This is what was going on in Siberia 10,000 years ago, during what scientists call the Pleistocene Era. Do you think it's a strange coincidence that scientists uncovered this ancient weapons factory just a few miles away from a modern Russian military facility? This island was once connected to the Siberian mainland, and it's common knowledge among paleontologists to be a mammoth graveyard. Number 8. Airman's Corpse a pair of ice climbers were going up the side of a glacier on Mount Mendel in the Sierra Nevada when they discovered something bizarre sticking out of the snow. The climbers saw a frozen head, what looked to be one shoulder, and also an arm. Already beyond shocked, the ice climbers decided to get a better look. Upon closer inspection, they realized there was a dead person mostly encased in ice. The lifeless body was wearing a uniform that looked to be military. The corpse was also tangled up in a parachute. Amazingly, the frozen cadaver turned out to be the body of an airman from World War II who died in a plane crash in 1942. He was so perfectly preserved thanks to the frozen temperature thousands of feet up on the mountain that his blonde hair was still clinging to his skull. His plane crashed over 60 years ago, and for whatever reason, nobody ever found him again. A group of rangers and specialists had to camp out on the mountain for almost a week as they gradually chipped this guy out of the block of ice he was stuck in. They now believe the airman was a member of a navigational training plane crew that crashed their aircraft into the mountain. Number 7. Frozen Tomb The tomb of an ancient princess was just found frozen in the Siberian tundra. The archaeologist Gino Kaspari was the first to notice the curious circular structure in the middle of the Siberian wasteland thanks to satellite images. He suspected the circle was actually a burial mound, probably created by the ancient Scythians thousands of years ago. For those who don't know, the Scythians were a nomadic people who dominated much of Central Asia from between the 9th century BC and the 1st century BC. Scythians were famous for their brutal female warriors who were often credited as the inspiration for the Amazonian warriors in Greek mythology. The area in which the frozen tomb was discovered is called the Scythian Valley of the Kings. It's been a difficult place for archaeologists to excavate because of the brutal weather and the fact that the land is basically frozen. Archaeologists believe the tomb dates back 2,800 years and is the largest in the entire region. The princess buried inside the tomb was probably of significant importance to the locals. She may have been a legendary Scythian warrior, the ruler of a powerful tribe, or even the queen of the Eurasian steppe. The issue is that scientists are still working to excavate the site and determine the identity of the person buried inside. It might not even be a woman at all, but from what we know about the Scythians and their powerful female warriors, it's almost certainly a princess. Number 6. Mummified Goat A champion skier was visiting the Italian Alps when he stumbled upon something strange in the thawing snow. It was the hairless and rather disturbing corpse of a goat that died 400 years ago. The skier was about six hours from civilization on a hike through the icy mountain pass when he came upon the animal's corpse. 
According to what the skier told local authorities, it was all leathery, looking like nothing he'd ever seen before. He took a photograph and sent it to the park ranger, who then notified the Department of Cultural Heritage. A frozen goat may not be quite as exciting as something like a frozen caveman, but it was still a pretty ghoulish thing to come across in the middle of a hike. Rather than leave the goat there to rot, archaeologists were brought in to take the frozen goat mummy off the mountain and bring it back to a research lab. This proved a bit difficult because the mummy was pretty high, 10,500 feet, 3,200 meters up on the mountain, still partially buried in the glacier. They actually had to call in the Army Corps to extract the goat, which they then brought back to their lab for further study. What would you do if you came across a frozen corpse? Would you leave it alone or call it in? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 5. Surgeon's Notebook The notebook of a surgeon named George Murray Levick was found trapped in the ice of Antarctica after being lost for over a century. The story goes back to 1912 when the explorer Robert Falcon Scott perished while trying to cross Antarctica. George Levick was part of Robert's crew, acting as surgeon and photographer. His notebook was filled with notes and photos that he took during their fateful expedition. It was recovered in January by a group of researchers investigating one of the camps the expedition had hunkered down in. You see, Robert and his crew managed to make it all the way to the South Pole by January of 1912. It was on the return journey that he and several members of his crew got caught in a storm and died. George, however, managed to survive with a few other members of the expedition by hiding in an ice cave. He left his notebook, along with negatives of photographs he took during the perilous trip, inside one of the huts along the way back. As you can imagine, the notebook was in pretty rough shape after spending a hundred years frozen in the ice. A paper conservator had to be called in to clean and separate the pages, then digitally record them before the notebook was sewn back together. Other than just a few minor notes on how the expedition was going, the notebook contained historical photos of Robert Scott and his crew before most of them froze to death. Number 4. Precious Jewels An ambitious young French mountain climber neared the top of Mount Blanc and made a bizarre discovery in the ice and snow. For those who don't know, Mount Blanc is the highest mountain peak anywhere in Western Europe. The thing that the climber found was a box. It was a metal chest, and when he opened it, he found over $200,000 in precious gems. There were over a hundred rubies, emeralds, and sapphires. As it turned out, the treasure chest had been hidden underneath the ice for roughly 50 years. But just where in the world did the box of treasure come from? The first clue was that the sachets the gems were inside of were marked Made in India. After a bit of research, the mountain climber discovered that the box had likely belonged to somebody on one of the Air India flights that had crashed into the mountain either in 1950 or 1966. A total of a hundred people were killed between the two crashes. This box of gems must have been in the cargo of one of the planes. Even more amazing than the fact that somebody found a literal box of treasure at the top of a mountain is the fact that he turned it over to the authorities when he came down off the mountain. According to The Guardian, this guy literally handed over a box of jewels so that the police could help track down the owners in India. Number 3. Jigsaw Island There's a frozen Russian island that researchers call the biggest jigsaw puzzle in the world. The island is wedged between the Arctic Ocean and the Northern Sea of Siberia. It's a region so cold and so remote that just about nobody lives here. The island isn't even much more than a small cluster of rocks, what locals thought for a long time was an island built of woolly mammoth bones. On foot, the island seems relatively normal. It's icy and rocky and completely inhospitable. But seen from space, the island turns into a jigsaw puzzle. Satellite images taken by the NASA Earth Observatory show the island as a massive puzzle of splintered ice. According to NASA themselves, the pattern of the puzzle even changes on a daily basis depending on the winds, the ocean currents, and the daily freezing and melting of the ice. It's one of the weirdest satellite discoveries ever made of a region on Earth. Even more fascinating is the fact that the icy jigsaw puzzle is only visible for a short period of time each year before the Arctic winter covers it in fresh snow. Number 2. Ancient Steppe Bison An ancient steppe bison was discovered half-hidden underneath the frozen ground in Siberia after spending just about 10,000 years as a frigid mummy. The incredibly well-preserved bison was uncovered completely by accident by members of the Yukagir tribe. They told the local authorities, scientists got involved, and the specimen was transported to the Yakutian Academy of Sciences. Analysis of the preserved remains showed that the steppe bison is an extinct ancient ancestor to the modern bison. It was also the best preserved specimen of its kind ever found, complete with its internal organs still intact. Researchers believe the unfortunate bison died at the young age of only four. 
Judging by the lack of fat around the animal's abdomen, it probably died of starvation. These huge animals used to roam all across North America and Russia. They went extinct a few thousand years ago and were replaced by modern bison. However, it's not exactly clear how they went extinct when modern bison continued to thrive. They're different, but the same. Number 1. CSL Assiniboine The CSL Assiniboine was launched in Canada decades ago, all the way back in July of 1977. It was an impressive steamship that could hold nearly 30,000 tons, 60,000 pounds of goods to be delivered. Her first voyage was to pick up coal in Sandusky, Ohio, then bring it back to Ontario in Canada. This fine ship was specially designed for the frigid Canadian waters, given metal fins along her bow to break apart ice as she maneuvered through the frozen waterways of the Great Lakes. In fact, this ship is still very active today. Every now and again, the massive cargo ship can be seen completely frozen in ice as she enters Duluth in Minnesota to drop off her precious cargo, then slowly moves back into the ghostly ice mist shrouding Lake Superior. What's the craziest thing you've ever found in the ice? Let us know in the comments and thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back again soon for another amazing video right here on American Eye.